It is not known if a visitor to Dimbola Lodge ever wore a moustache guard. necessary to dwell upon the advantages or disadvantages of the moustache. Suffice it to say that in our changeable climate, physicians are agreed that it conduces to health and the inconvenience it offers. So, so a failure promoter and a beautiful vision. So, Julia was often good with tears and unfortunate derision. Rosebud, garden. The girls are sitting pensive and are playing with the flowers. Bruno, Julia Jackson. Seth and Mrs. Cameron for hours upon hours. I like that too. Yeah, this guy's called, his name is Ergo Fismiz. <laughs> or, of course it is. Of yeah, course yeah, it sure. is. Yeah. I'm glad it's Fismiz, it's Ergonom. <laughs> Deliverance kid all grown up. <laughs> oh, there he is. Hi, there Mark. Is. Hello, hello. Hi, Mark. How goes things? <laughs> I like the new beard there, Har. Very nice. Oh, you like that? Uh, yeah. Don't encourage him. Yeah. I like the new hair there, Gav. Why? Don't encourage him. Yeah. <clears throat> you look don't ask, look like, you're starting don't to look ask like, about the manscape. Yeah, you're looking like Jeff Lynn. <laughs> Who's that? The singer for ELO. Oh, yeah. I wish I had the ELO money. Mm-hmm. <laughs> don't we all? I'd be happy with just the E. You know, they can keep the L and the O. <laughs> so, Mark, we're gonna have we're gonna have to talk Eternals because I finally watched it last night. Yeah, I, oh, yeah. I saw your post. Yes. Oh, is it as bad as they say? Oh, oh it is. Yes. It is awful. It yes. is. Huh? It is oh, by far the worst Marvel movie of the bad. Ever. Not just Marvel. It's one of the worst movies I think <clears throat> made. Oh yeah. yeah. What happened? It's dumb as shit. That's what happened. It, it is. It's dumb as shit. <laughs> it is. And that's our I, review. Dumb as shit. That's too bad. That's yeah. really too bad. I, I, I've got a great review that someone posted on my when I when I posted about it on my Facebook page. <laughs> someone chimed in with a guy from Facebook who went on for twenty minutes about how shitty this movie is, and I can't I can't disagree with anything he said. It's it's beautiful. So, I'll send that link. Oh yeah, that's really too bad. I you know? I, I I was like I think when they reveal and i you know what i don't care i'm gonna I'm spoil it when they reveal that the eternals are constructs and i'm like whoa 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 you may it sounded be, like a song that was yeah, good you, you <laughs> made, it's like you made a deaf construct that makes no fucking sense at all you made a construct or that's does like, it yeah no it doesn't and you made a one a 10 year old girl none of this makes any sense i'm like mm -hmm. god damn i know go back to the italian movie the visitor oh, wait a minute <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a minute. Who made the constructs? Oh, we're talking the Eternals. Celestials. Celestials, Celestials made them. See, yeah. you can't, you can't, you, you just you can't there? question their, their motivation. Celestial oh, oh, knowledge. Oh, oh, They're oh, way oh. beyond you, so, oh, you know. Oh, I totally question their motivation. <laughs> Look, big, <laughs> Bigfoot and Jesus and UFOs, come on. <laughs> Angels. <laughs> them. Uh, right? There you go. And they're, yeah, they're so they're on a plane so far beyond you. Uh, they don't use planes, Professor Feather. They got spaceships. 
That's what I meant. They're, they're I know. Spaceships I so far, so far you know, in yeah. advance. Well, we'll just agree on space planes, okay? It's the same thing that, <laughs> that, that yep. Z- Zeno Look, used to dump all the, the bad people in the volcanoes to create Scientologists. Whatever. Well, here's, here's how you explain the Celestials. They don't poop. <laughs> or, they're, they're that celestial okay, they're, that they're, celestial. they're <laughs> celestials okay right. wait, oh wait, plastic wait. toilet paper oh i don't wait need wait wait <laughs> so according to the eternal recording I, in progress according to the eternals the celestials are making stars so what makes the asteroids i beg to differ feather i oh. think they do poop oh. and that's what's going on they don't get enough fiber and all those hard little crunchy things floating in space is the poop it, okay and they wipe with black holes. <laughs> well, hey. Oh, no, the mean, yeah, the black holes are their ass. Cleans all it. those nooks and crannies. Oh yeah, I mean, come on, a singularity. Black hole, is, son, you know the song. Yeah, it's or like a, it, it's it's a cosmic bidet. Come on, it's great. <laughs> I stand corrected. Cosmic or sit, bidet. or sit corrected. I guess it should. Say. Cosmic bidet. That's don't that's even a, ask. That's got to be a band cars, name, man. Uh, yeah, bidet. that's that's brilliant, man. Cosmic bidet. I wish it. I wish it were as good as a cosmic bidet. May you be refreshed by the cosmic bidet. Hey there, brother. <laughs> Can I use your cosmic bidet? <laughs> Come on down. What really smells like spring? <laughs> Get you all cleaned out and leaves you smelling like coconut and almonds or whatever. Spring they Spring in the smelling. cesspool. <laughs> Refreshed, revigorated, ready for a new millennia. (laughs) (laughs) I think I'm going to go out and make me some stars. What is the Eternals, a TV show or a movie? There's a movie. There's a movie. Uh, The last, the latest Marvel movie. Oh, the latest. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. And I don't follow what goes on. And if uh, if it, (sighs) I hope the next thing they come out with is, is a little bit better. It it made uh, Batman Superman look like um, like movie of the year, you know. At least oh. that one it made some sense. Oh, you didn't like Batman Superman? Uh, I thought I thought I had it has a couple things I liked about it and some things I really hated about it. Yeah, yeah. And I like the first cut of the Justice League. I thought was really awful, but I liked the Snyder cut. I know we talked about did you? that. Did you? No, yeah. I did. Well, I we, yeah, we did. We, we did. Yeah. It's, yeah, I thought it was a lot better. It is, it is, and I'm and I'm not a fan of the the Justice League movie, but the Snyder cut was, oh, was a better cut. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I have to give them that. But ugh, right, God. I still don't know if I want to sit through four hours. I, I watched it at fast motion. I was doing like one point seven five, so I was blazing through it in about two and a half hours. Um, I had the subs <laughs> like on. So today's like, movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I totally watched that at two two speed one point seven five. I'm like, who oh. suggested that piece of shit? That's what I want to know. Yeah, exactly. God. I ain't no religion. My- ah, I got to put pitchforks and torches. <laughs> that was one of those. That was I one of those common, fun. common ones. We said, oh, "Yeah, maybe we ought to watch that." Yeah. So I, you know, we're all guilty of being stupid. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was funny. Well, I'll save it. I'll save it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll save the conversation. <laughs> yeah, it'll be a, it'll be a good one. <laughs> yes, it would definitely be entertaining talk. The talk will be more entertaining than the movie for sure. I hope so. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, <laughs> we're in trouble. Then the bar isn't very high. So. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Even we could probably reach that one. Yeah. Uh, offending all Romero and Argento fans. Yes. Yeah. Three of them. I mean, what is this? Uh, is they're she, all like, sixty-eight years old. So this is like what episode? We, what, we can push them down and say, "Take that." <laughs> yeah. One fifty something. Yeah. yeah, we haven't been doing it for this long. If we haven't, if we haven't driven you away by now. You're in for the long haul. <laughs> yeah. You know, you're on like you're like with an STD, man. You're stuck with us. You are herpes. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far, but okay. There is no cure, though. Well, it happens from <laughs> uh, you know lava. So there you go. That's what I say. The herpes of the podcast. We are oh, the herpes of the yeah. podcast. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> Once you <laughs> have us, universe. Universe. you're not getting rid of us. People, <laughs> it's easier to get rid of celestial poop poop asteroids <laughs> from the black hole than it is to get rid of us. These are the stories that bother us. <laughs> <laughs> so what's their waste? <laughs> Apparently the, us. All the, the waste would turn into the movie. That was the waste. 
I yeah. actually, you know, unlike you, uh, Blue Feds, I actually, I stopped watching it. I got halfway through and I'm like, I can't take another fucking minute of this. So I didn't even know they were constructs. So I'm like, so, there's yeah. a part of me that says, okay, sunken cost fallacy. I'm halfway through. How much worse can it be? And then, because in about, in about 30 minutes in, I'm like, God, this is, sucks. I don't think I want to watch this. So I'm like, I'll give it another 10 minutes and I'm waiting for it to turn around. And I'm like, nope, this is just, it just, uh, I'm just taking loads of, of horribleness in my mouth every, every few minutes. This is horrible. No, and I stopped. I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm done. I can't, I can't go back to this. Yeah, no, uh, uh, my wife fell asleep 30 minutes in. Cosmo mm -hmm. at like 50 minutes got up and said, yeah. I, he goes, I've already seen this. I can't sit through it again. And walked out. And I'm like, all right, well, yeah. I'm I'm gonna I'm in for the long haul, but holy yeah. crap was that oh. and they and they also ruined the inhuman the the inhumans when they tried to do the TV that show. TV. Oh See, my god. I, was I, I was I was I was intrigued by them. Like, okay, this is Shakespearean drama. I'm, I thought I was right. I, I was that. waiting for it. And then they cut it off before they finished it. They just like I just I guess I didn't like <laughs> the way it looked. None of that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So let's immediately cut Medusa's hair all off so that they don't have to right. deal with any of the CGI in that. Yeah, yeah that we're show. gonna save fifty bucks an episode. We, we gotta <laughs> we gotta cut that. The coolest thing about that character. Ah, uh, we're gonna the yeah. We make her her only power. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But it's about her soul. Yeah. Lockjaw was my cool. hair. I but, like Lockjaw was cool. So did they that shave yeah. pubic hair too? No, that one's still wild. Yeah. I Little hope fingers so. down there grabbing you? Kung Fu grip. Yeah. Kung Fu grip. Kung and Fu red. Kung Fu grip. <laughs> and very, very red. Orange. <laughs> or if you're the Celestials, it's the Kung Fu. It is not known. Right. It is not known. If a visitor to Dimbola yeah. Lodge well, ever I'm wore so a mustache card. You, you endured through that pile of shit there, John. Yeah. I know, it looked bad. I mean, I, I wasn't crazy about Miss Marvel, but I would watch that twice over before I watched it in humans again. Or, you know, whatever. That one is. was shitty, too. I it wasn't Cap good. Captain Marvel, no, it was, it was yeah. not. It was, it was not, not good. good. It's like, I'm not sure they're going off the rails here, but also I'll forward that review. It's on my page. I'll forward it to you guys. Cause the guy makes some astute points. Like let's take a bunch of writers who didn't write anything. This is like their second movie they've ever written. They've never written any comic book thing. Let's take an indie director who, who did only indie movies. Who's never done anything more than a few hundred thousand dollars in budget. And let's throw $200 million at them, you know, and people, Tim Burton. Yeah. Oh, hey, come on. <laughs> yeah. It was just a claustrophobic from the beginning, you know, characters you from, don't is know. This is this from the Guardians or, or yeah. Eternals. Eternals? Eternals, I mean, Eternals. yeah, a host okay, gotcha. of so many characters who you don't know, who and it, it, the, you know what's going to be bad when it starts off with a scroll oh, explaining yeah. exactly was explaining what's going on like like oh fuck it's not the cool way like Star Wars no. <laughs> it, it harkens back to you know Flash Gordon. I thought you said scroll. <laughs> scroll. Oh, scroll. He meant scrotum. Yeah, sorry. The scrolls. Yeah. Scroll the scrolls. The scrolls would be cool. But they're I, the henchmen of the celestials. Well, Kim and I were watching this and we were like, it would have been so easy to show in the beginning, like this all the celestials meeting and like their mission on Earth. Like saying, you know, we have all these planets, we have this, you know, this invasion, these monsters, blah, blah, blah. We're going to be dividing you up into teams and giving you the planets. Okay, th th all you had to do was show that and then have and then have this group of people, you know, these Eternals get together. And you could have easily talked about their abilities and all these things by showing it rather than just like, you know, it doesn't, this film doesn't live by its own rules. We can't interfere with humankind unless these monsters attack, but let's make them stop fighting, but let's give them technology, but do this and that. It, it, it makes no sense. Yeah, it doesn't no. play by its own rules. You get a bunch of characters who you don't know who the fuck they are, nope. who, what they're like. They're, there's no personalities at all. They, there's time jumping back and forth. Time slip. Um, <laughs> and it's like, what the, what, what the fuck? Oh, is those are annoying. <laughs> yeah, there's no no rational explanation for any of these things, um, and then they try to tackle so many things. You got this the alien; they're trying to you know save the Earth from these aliens, but then there's all this like 
love interest going on then then there's like four like plots going on at the same time and it, you're thrown in the middle of it and, and you know yeah. what though i i guess to me being the jack kirby stuff anyway there is none no, right they none don't even try to no, capitalize no. on the visual all they Absolutely. would have had yeah all, yeah all they should have done was gotten whoever did the production design for thor ragnarok ragnarok there they you would go. have because that was perfect yeah. Yeah. i think so too yeah. something yeah. But like that did kirby wrote the eternals right wasn't that his baby he wrote that too yeah. and drew it yeah. now here's the thing kirby i love kirby's art but he can't write for no, sure no no he can't True. it's a fucking cl- I re- <laughs> no. i'm reading i'm like yeah. god kirby man what what the fuck man no. what is going on here it, just draw your pictures and your weird slanted faces and <laughs> words. awesome characters though. yeah I mean, oh, just, uh, don't forget this gotta always do that <laughs> yeah <laughs> but i love that I, 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 I know and they're all flat though they could have done they could have made it look so awesome with those kinds of camera shots you know no, I, guys and like I, look I, this is the eternal I, this is they could have done this yeah. um i i totally agree with you in fact when we meet the eternals i i i turn to cosmo i'm like when we find it is we not- find out there with their their constructs they're made i'm like when we first when we first meet them they should look like some big ass kirby drawing and then when they touch a human then suddenly they kind of turn human which would make sense because they're adapting themselves right, to the right. planet it, they land right. on and i'm like and then they run into keanu reeves but this is the, <laughs> this is the oh, concept, oh, right this is the secret oh, we got to hold this like oh it's going to be a big reveal oh but don't like, yeah. let's kill off Sal- salma hayek three minutes into the movie what yeah. Hold on, she hasn't shown her boobs once, and you're going to kill her off. Why? How, how old is Summer High now? Fifty-five. You, you, you're well, definitely, you're months. definitely not a good. I writer. love younger. I love younger women. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, it's just like, wait a minute, what are you, what are you doing? And then there's another flashback. It's like, God, none of this makes fucking sense. But what? Doctor Head, don't forget. You, somebody brought up Keanu Reeves. They fucking matrixed us in this movie. We're 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 just supposed to let the humanity get to a certain population level because that'll oh, right. that'll kickstart the celestial birth. I'm yeah, like, we're, oh, right. Shit. We gotta we're, feed the celestials with our humanity and our feelings. What the fuck is that? And then it's gonna burst out of the planet and kill everybody. <laughs> but then, like, wait a I minute. I saw this we, on the Teletubbies. But we <laughs> like these humans. I don't know. Are we the bad guys here? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, Tell yeah, it just, no, Twinkies, none of it made any sense. Sad. It's just a clusterfuck of yeah. bad <laughs> ideas, bad, bad script writing, right. confused. There's like action sequences that mean absolutely nothing. And and the tone doesn't know what it wants to be. No, They'll go like one minute, like they're they're mourning one of their own, the death of one of their own. Like in 30 seconds later, they're sitting around the table, like making jokes. Yeah. Like, wait a minute. Yeah. This person just fucking died in front of you, and you're like yucking it up over something stupid. Like Jesus Christ, you guys. Are, oh, what, he what had is a wrong with you? Thirty billion year life, so it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> I heard you guys mentioned yeah. Captain Marvel too. I just yeah. rewatched it. Um, it's a. Uh, it's I'm actually sorry. well, the story isn't bad. It's her. She is yeah. so god awful. It's not, not good. She's not very. She's really bad. Oh, I did really not bad. Like her at yeah. all. Yeah, there's well, the in the, the Eternals. Story. I think the writers were just channeling Jack Kirby's writing. Probably, <laughs> <laughs> if it would, yeah, if it had been Jack Kirby's writing, then it would have been much better. Much better. Yeah. But it's it like these guys so, had. I didn't no... say they channeled it well. <laughs> but you know how you could have bad movies that kind of look okay. Well, they had. This no was idea. had none of that. Even I mean, it was just no. so generic and so boring. It was just. It was. It was the confused story. That made no sense. Writing that was bad. Characters that were right. not developed. You get like nine characters from the get go. You have no, no, nothing going on. Then you're throwing in a love story. You're throwing in planet defense. And now we got to do this. And everyone's like making these stands about things and having these platitudes, like without any basis uh, of grounding in these characters or what they're for. You know, uh, <laughs> it's just like God kind almighty. Like Godzilla what a Final mess. Wars. Yeah. Well, at least for the Final <laughs> Wars, you've you've known these characters for you know fifty, forty from some years. Uh, so you, you know, you you knew this. It was a remake of Destroy All Monsters, kind of. Add the Matrix, aliens, and then um, you know you're in. But uh, yeah, this was just hot mess. Hot. Yeah. Hot mess. I thought Wonder Woman eighty four was significantly better than this movie. I, I didn't. I didn't mind. I didn't mind that so bad. It wasn't good, but I didn't mind that nearly as much. I uh, liked the first one. I wanted to see this. The first one. I, I heard you guys talk about it. Yeah, just, the first one's great. 
Aside from the Captain America ending, but yeah, because <laughs> it, it's it's exactly Captain America at the end. Um, I I well, think Wonder Woman eighty four was better, maybe by virtue that it wasn't as long as the Eternals. <laughs> I don't know. God, oh, both of those are just ugh, yeah. God. So I'm I'm curious as to what they're going to do now with the Flash movie, bringing in Michael Keaton, I, and, I, and and okay, I I've seen I saw finally a trailer of the Batman. With 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 Twilight, mm-hmm. um, was it Pattinson? Is that his name? Yeah, I had to, I had to stop calling him because he did an amazing job in the Lighthouse. Oh yeah, that no, was he's fucking yes. tour de force. Yeah, yes. Him, Will, Will right. Defoe, just yeah. brilliant. My yeah. God, the guy can act. He was raking okay. in the money. He was raking in the money with the other. <laughs> yeah, it was his first acting gig. I mean, some guy offers you a million bucks to play a fucking glittery vampire. You're gonna do it. Yeah. Um, so anyway, I. I have zero desire to see this movie. I just don't give a shit. Like DC, oh. this is like the sixth Batman movie yeah. you've made. Can't you do like, an- no. what, what are you doing? Spinning your wheels. Tell another story for Christ's sake. You're going back to like, well, we it's threw like, this up a couple need, times. They need to go back let's to let's like try the, to, people will right, like this vomit right. we threw up again. They need like the gun success, hey, you know, where you pull out all these, <laughs> you know, these uh, backstory characters and, and they make these stories about them. I think that's so cool that he does that. You know, the ones you don't hear quite enough about. Who? You know what I mean? For what? You know, and like when the guns do their uh, uh, superhero oh, 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 movies. Oh, James okay. Gunn. No. James, yeah, James Gunn, Gunn you're Gunn. talking about. Oh, yeah, right. guns. I'm and like, what's he talking out, about? Yeah, and they pick out like Polka Dot Man. Fucking you know, you know, just taking these kind of... And I know that goes back brilliant. into the, the, the older stories, but well, it's, it's like, just interesting. It's like the comic me, I mean, books. I mean, to refresh them. What? It's like the comic um, books, too, because the comic books, the, the really good writers in comics can take any character and they can create a really good story out of them. They just, because right. they, they have an yeah, imagination and they're trying to do because stuff. Because they're good writers. Because they're good writers. Yeah, that's really what it is. Right. James Gunn is just brilliant. I mean, that's all there is yeah. to it, you know? Yeah, I mean, just, have you been watching Peacemaker? Oh, Peacemaker is fucking amazing. It's awesome. Where's that, <laughs> where's that at? Is that streaming on it's what? HBO Max. It's HBO. HBO Max. It's, oh, that's why. It's oh, really you need to good. see. Oh, you really need to see it, Tom. Is Someone it? give me your sign-on. I'll I'll use your sign-on for it. No, but no, it's cheaper than no, Netflix. Mark. Sorry, yeah. sir. Mark. It's on Netflix. Yeah. No, it's cheaper no, it's than Netflix. It's not on, it's not HBO. No, I'll look for it on the. I'll look for it on the free candy source. It's, I'm sure it's around. But Mark, you're absolutely right. I, I I'm probably gonna go see it, but I can tell you, I I don't really care because, like you said, I'm fucking sick of Batman movies, and, and I never you thought love I would... Batman. Uh, yes, uh, but I, I got tired of Batman years ago. I, it's oh, oh yeah, that was, Jack, that was a I'm Jack Kirby thing. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I'm tired of it. There's so many other great characters, and they just they're like, oh well, what do we do? Well, let's make another Batman movie. Right. I'm like, no, stop. Kind of like I, Marvel and Spider Man in the Sony. Yeah, Sony. Like, oh, make up yes. your mind. Make up your mind. Marvel. Oh yeah, Come on. we got three incarnations of Spider Man. But have you seen Spider Man No Way Home? I heard that was pretty cool, though. Okay. It, it, it yeah, I, I did don't, not don't care for it. the first two thirds of it. I won't say anything. And it, but it, 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 it turned around for me. But I was like, I thought the second one, first but how, two were great. How often does that happen, though? I mean, they, you know, I mean, they just. Yeah. Right. So, but it, it was totally worth the watch. Like, okay, now you redeemed yourself. Because other, otherwise, I'm like, eh, I'm not, eh, I'm not really caring about this. Into the Spider Verse is the best Spider Man movie I've I, seen. I, I That's what agree. I keep on hearing. Yeah, That's it's, what I keep it's, on hearing. It's great. It is amazing. Yeah. And I had no desire to see it. But oh, I, I might so ask. good. Yeah, it's really good. Well, and then if the other one to see is if you want to see a Batman movie, watch the two parts of the Batman uh, Dark, Knight Dark, Returns. Dark Knight Returns, the animated one. Yeah. Yeah, brilliant. So good. Yeah, they, yeah, they, they right. stick to that story really well. And the style, the art style, they really like, yes. do a good job. Right. Peter Weller as right. Batman. Right, right, right. Oh my uh, God. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Got, oh, oh, yeah, it's great. That's nice. That's, great. that's, a, that's a, yeah. a great voice. He's, he's yeah. just, he's perfect. It's like, now if I read the graphic novel, I hear Peter Weller's voice. <laughs> it's, so true, yeah. nice. it's, it's so good. But, I uh, thought it was pretty who, good. Who, is, uh, who did the voice on the animated, on TV? Uh, Kevin and, Conroy was yeah. the animated series and uh, that's the voice i like I that voice too. he's good too I he's that really great really well yeah those yeah. are those are great the that's right. that's another incarnation of batman that i think is brilliant that whole uh that whole series yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll i'll tell you what what dc would would make me so happy right now if they would get brandon routh bring him back as superman but put him in like a mini series adaptation of all-star superman but follow that storyline pretty close because that story for me was probably one of the best Superman stories I've ever read in my life. It was, it, it didn't 
diss the 60s kind of silver age kind of silliness it kind of just took it in stride and and just went with it and it's that nice perfect blend of like science fic high high concept science fiction with a little bit of the silver age silliness and just writing superman as he is this just this good person that just strives to do his very best and 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 they've got this great if you've never read it they have this great scene in it when he is clark kent he's in jail interviewing lex luther and he spots in his jail cell there's a cord that's getting water on it and luther would get electrocuted if he touched it so he just kind of stumbles and bumps luther out of the way so he, he kind of gets him out of danger and luther turns around and he goes my god kent he goes you write like a poet but you move like a landslide and he's just dissing him and he just seems like oh sorry uh luther i didn't know you know like that and i'm like <laughs> it's just the writing is so good in grant morrison story. yeah grant morrison's oh, brilliant God. I, and, it, it, and isn't that the same one where the parasite is in yes. like in this prison and he's feeding yes. off of superman being there yeah. and all of a sudden he's like oh you gotta get superman out of here because the parasite's getting out of control you know yeah He's and the whole up. time Luther is just like, what the hell's going? It's like, damn it, parasite! You're screwing everything up. But yeah, I bet wasn't that the one where he's like, yeah, he found out that if you play, was it Hamlet or Macbeth at a certain frequency, <laughs> it, it's like the same as a sonic drill. And I'm like, ah, that's brilliant, perfect. Yeah, what I just watched. You think Doctor Who would know that? Yeah, Sorry, I just watched uh, <laughs> Venom and uh, Venom Car- let the carnage rain. I actually liked them. See, I thought they were, I thought they were pretty good. Uh, and I said the second one was even better than the first one because That's they, what I hear. yeah, because yeah. you have a lot more of like uh, uh, Venom's personality in the whole thing, you know, and the argument that they have. Whoever got, they Uh-oh. got to do the Freeze. voice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, did I? Uh-oh. Time slip. <laughs> yeah, nobody's freezing for me. A slip or is that more of a slow slide? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I know I'm not high, so this must be a glitch. Oh, everybody this froze is for me. This worthy. <laughs> yeah, anyway. John. I wanted to apologize. I think I started when you started talking about Batman. I talked all over you. God, I'm sorry. You if you didn't exist, Batman wouldn't be as popular. You owe everything to that goofy television show, which I desperately love, and it's it just ugh, irritates me that. Yeah, they no, can the, tell so the many The television more show is is my favorite Batman of all Batmans. That season, uh, with the one. exception, I really like the the. Christian Bale. Yes, nope. I like yes. those. Me too. You know, the, yeah. To me, that was Batman. Pretty, pretty it, much. It covered those both two. The those aspects two. Of it, yeah, yeah, I think. yeah, exactly. It encapsulated the different mm-hmm. aspects that came with Batman. You know, the remember the goofiness him in the, you know, of the, the, of the, the early days, comic and then, book, you know, and no. then the dark, oh, yeah. gritty yeah. person. Yeah, but yeah, I just, I'm I just, thought those were pretty good. I, yeah, yeah, no, they were. But I, I'm just tired of it. I'm tired of Batman. It's, yeah. It's like, <laughs> yeah. you know, I got all excited when they talked yeah. about, um, what was it, Del Toro talking? Uh, there was rumors talking about doing a DC movie, but using like the, the supernatural characters. Oh, like yeah. Yeah. The, Hellblazer and Swamp Thing um, and things like that. Like Wouldn't that Justice cool? League Dark. Yeah, Justice League Dark. Yeah. 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 Ooh, right. Yeah. But what did you do? That would be great. Like I'd that. love to see that. They tried. They tried a Hellblazer. It didn't work out. They tried Man uh, Swamp Thing. It didn't work out. Um, I would love yeah. if they're going to do a movie. I would love to see them do an adaptation of Kingdom Come. Like that would be fucking that would um, be pretty. So wait, animated or live action? Either one. I I, I, I think I would, I would have, have a, it animated. I, that'd be cool. Animated, animated. would, be, animated animated would cool. just be yeah. a, a jizz fest. You know, they they did the new lovely. they did the new frontier as an animated one. They did. Uh, that which was is pretty good. it yeah. was really good, and the, yeah. And if you haven't read the new frontier uh, the comic, it's so yeah. good. Oh, uh, oh, what's the yeah. artist's name? Uh oh, Darwin away. Cook. Darwin God. Cook. Very old Red. school art. Yeah, just great. Yeah. God is that Batman the New Frontier or DC the yeah. New Frontier? It, it oh, was just DC. all of it was like the Justice League kind of, right? Uh, you know. Oh. I'll just yeah, check in um in 1961. I believe it's when it took place. Yeah. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, yeah. Darwin Cook is no longer with us, sadly. But oh, oh my God, when did his... it? When did it come out? Uh, early two, early mid two thousands, Sean. Okay. I think it was just yeah. called the New Frontier. Yep. Yeah, New Frontier. That's okay, so I'll good. look for it. Oh Let's my God, it. it's it's so good. Let me see if I got it on my list. Um, yeah, because I love Kingdom Come. I think it's just a single one of the best uh comic stories ever written. It's just beautiful. I taught it to my my English classes, my popular but culture there classes. Is... There again, it's it's a really good story, but it's really good art. Oh yeah, that yes. accompanies the story. I mean, it's not Alex just Ross. The story. 
it's it's a combination. That's why I I would be re, it would be hard for me to like unless it was animated and it was animated in that style. Yeah, that, you know? sure. Like, color, that's the only yeah. way I would they, really yeah. like it. I think it, you right. can't separate the two. It'd almost be like Max Fleischer, good, like Max Fleischer approach. Yeah, to it. yeah. It would oh, look that like that. Be, that would be pretty cool. Yeah. yeah, like with what Sean yeah. said, the uh, the the two part Dark Knight. It looks just like yeah. the comic book. Yeah, that yeah. style has carried over into animation. Yeah. So if you can keep Alex Ross's yeah. beautiful artwork, no way. Oh my God, no, no would, way you animate that. that. No way. No, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, well, I don't know. I don't know, man. I, with, animation well, I don't know. right now is in, in a pretty, yeah, pretty the, the, uh, the 3D exciting yeah. state. So. DC's animation is so good. Well, I and believe all their movies are good. And I, I, I darkly. Well, yeah. I, I also think they've finally gone gotten out of the uncanny valley. Um, because they're doing like the deep fake now stuff because they can now morph it over a real person. Um, yes. So like the recent, uh, I don't know if you've watched the book of Boba Fett. Um, oh yeah. But they do a really good job with uh, um, Luke Skywalker. And yeah. Making, you know, it's says, oh yeah. spoiler alert! I'm not in there. Thank you. I haven't watched it yet. Yeah. But he, well, he, it, but he's not in it. He's not in it. He's not in it. But they do a really good job with him. <laughs> ah okay. No, I watched I think three episodes, uh, two or three episodes, and so. Oh well, they yeah, yeah. Just, they just stick stick with it because you get to these episodes. Well, here's it's what like... here's what's great about that that series is you see how shitty a director that Robert Rodriguez is, right? His episodes are terrible, like terrible, and then all of a sudden Bryce Howard comes in and does an episode, and you're like, oh, she's got sh- some fucking chops, you know? Yeah. The Howards they know what they're doing, and then Filoni comes in, and I think Dave Filo- I think he's the guy, you know what I mean? Like I think that's the He's the guy who knows Star Wars the best, and he did all the. I like, like Robert know. Rodriguez, though. It's just I, I, I do I too. One episode. It's like he does great stuff sometimes, but 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 I yeah, but I was disappointed yeah. in the episode that he did too. I saw one I'm like, oh, that's surprising. There's a no. there's a there's a bike a speeder bike chase in town oh, that is God. just absurd. I mean, it yeah, is it's... like it is so slow, and they go over a building. And go, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, and it's like everything is moving like at one third speed of, of, yeah, of and, a real chase. So, and, and let's not forget, they look like they were pulled out of Spy Kids. I'm oh, like, terrible! Yeah, the, the, oh. that stuff is terrible. <laughs> it is. No, it's that's no. true. No, I like that. Shark Boy, <laughs> Shark Boy, and Lava Kid, or whatever yeah. it was. Yeah, yeah. Lava, no, yeah. it's I mean, power of a shark. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's like look if if you want to give the 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 motorcycle gang this gang a little something something that's fine but you can't tell me they're on tatooine this back ass world <laughs> no, on the right. outer rim and they're they roll up with these these shiny super art deco chrome speeder bikes that look like <coughs> that look like an electrolux uh, got off with a, a raymond lowey train i'm like come on no th- maybe these, they're these... maybe they're like vespas no they should, they should be <laughs> That's a, that's a different planet. Now, Vespa's yeah. a different planet. Yeah. Yes. yeah. You're supposed to keep your Vespa's to yourself. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's just uh, it's it's pretty it's pretty weird. That's what I said. It's it's hit or miss. And the best part is the last two episodes are the best episodes yeah. of the whole thing. <laughs> that's not saying. Well, don't anything. fucking spoil anymore. I'm not going to say well, anything. I didn't even know you were watching it. You know. So I said. Yeah, that's cool. That's all right. You got to well, keep look, we got, keep we up got with half our material right here. We should. Yeah, it's on, it's whole, on my this, list too. This is an old episode yeah. right here. I, I well, an episode. yeah, I've been I've, <laughs> I've, I've, I've been recording the whole thing, and uh, it's, Me too. this is probably going to be a better episode than Two Evil Eyes. <laughs> 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 it's unsane, unsane rantio this today. Radio. <laughs> oh, the insanity! <laughs> unsane radio unplugged. Yeah. All right, well, let's keep rolling with this. All right, Whatever. all right, unplugged. <laughs> Should, yeah, Who's all pissed off this, about this something? This should be media. its own episode. I Escapade. think this has been so good. We could talk like this for another hour. I, I yeah. this has been just great. Yeah, <sighs> that's wonderful. Yeah, I don't I mind. want my Green Arrow movie. God damn it. Okay, we'll cut. There's episode. We're going to do three episodes today. That's it. Yeah, you know, you think that'd be another one that would be. I think this is a, this has been entertaining for all of us. No, he's saying Green Arrow. He's talking about Green Arrow. I want Green Arrow. I want my Green Arrow movie. God right. damn it! And I want him to oh. have his beard, and he's got to have the hat, and he's got to. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I look I like need... fucking Robin Hood. Yes, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I want that. If if but Marvel that was by make... that's the one I remember. If he's Marvel can make though. millions off a talking fucking raccoon, the Green Arrow can have his old '70s outfit, and we'll buy it. I'm sorry. I'm Why? Hey. I would. I, that's the Green Arrow I know. And Only, Black Canary. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Only you if just, you just like the fishnets. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, it's only, <laughs> only, on. yeah, only, yeah, if, only, yes, only if Green may have another. <laughs> only if Green Arrow can meet Warlord and they can fight over who gets to keep the beard and the mustache. Oh, yeah, okay, I'll go that. That's a James Gunn movie right there. <laughs> yes, exactly. That's great. <laughs> that would be good. Mustache yeah, power. I love. I love. I love his, the Van Dyke uh, conflict. His stash and Van Dyke. <laughs> that would be awesome. I'd I'd pay a dollar to see power that. Van Dyke activate. <laughs> shoom. Yeah, actually, shoom. Yeah, yeah. Shoom, there it is. That's I used to have I used to have yeah. one of those. I used to have one of those. What a power Van Dyke! It came down a there. shoom and twisted. You know, two pieces. I also did it the other way too. I grew it down and then twisted it in. Oh, I thought so you like bought it, and like stuck in. it on. And... No, 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 no. I, I grew it. Oh, you're merkin. You're chin merkin, right? <laughs> I need to get one. Your churn. Yeah. It's stuck here with a little adhesive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to tell you what I what I'm using to stick it to my chin, <laughs> but you can guess. Oh, yeah. I that that there are so many good uh, comic books things that would be awesome. That would be great. Yeah, I'm all for. Yeah. If they wanted to do, to do the Batman, you guys should read uh, All Star Batman. Uh, that's written by um, Frank Miller, and it's drawn by um, uh, Jim Lee. Yeah, it's great because it's it, it's hilarious. I just think it's super funny. It's totally just making fun of Batman altogether. Yeah, in, in that aspect, yes. Yeah, it is. it's it's satire. It's and it's uh, the best part is how dumb he makes Hal Jordan. You know, Hal Jordan's just this fucking idiot. And then Hal Jordan threatens to, like, knock him down. So he invites Hal Jordan over to this apartment, and he paints everything yellow. Uh, so Hal Jordan walks into this apartment, and even Batman and Robin are painted yellow. And they're, like, offering him up uh, uh, lemonade and stuff like this, and Hal can't do anything, you know, because yellow <laughs> is his kryptonite. What was the Geffen series? Uh... Oh, uh, Geffen, yeah, uh, Justice, oh. yeah, yeah, it was, uh, um, <laughs> Justice, it was a Justice League, but it was, yeah. You know, oh, are you talking about, uh, JLA when or, took, yeah, when they took yeah. over and, uh, then it morphed into Justice League Europe or something like that, or, but that was a separate title, Justice that League was, Europe. Yeah. And then there was Justice League International, which was yeah, the really kind right. of, that was a fun one. And then Justice League International or Europe. Well, Justice the one. League International, is that the one that, the yeah, Geffen. I think so because yeah, because they it, had, it, had uh, beetle boo, beetle, ju uh, beetle 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 juice. Yeah, beetle <laughs> booster, uh, booster yeah. gold, yeah. Uh, yeah, beetle. Yeah. That was and, and they were Gardner. and they were like a comedy team. Yes, and Guy yeah. Gardner. Oh my God, that was Guy funny. Gardner. Guy Gardner. Right. Yeah, the, yeah, you the, turned the me classic, on to that one, Eric. The classic, at your shop. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, the classic yeah. punch. Yeah. <laughs> one punch. <laughs> yeah, but those were good. Those were entertaining. Those were fun. Yeah. They, they were fun making. Theory. They were doing a good job of making. And Justice fun. League Europe kind of carried over yeah. that tradition yeah, for right. a while because they, did. they, did. they yeah. had their first cover was just like looked like the first JLI, and said look familiar. You know, yeah. they all the different characters, <laughs> yeah. and then they had Wally West, um, <laughs> you know, and and then Power Girl. He's like putting the moves on Power Girl, and she's like, "I'll beat the shit out of you." And like, and that, it's like he, oh, I like, I like that even better. You know, I'm like, that's awesome. That, you know, yeah, the, awesome. the guy gardner scene you know the porn <laughs> scene the you know that that that's that when that i read that in the comic i just fucking died that was great <laughs> oh my god that was that, that who was he taken who was he taken what was it it was ice wasn't it i think so yeah, yeah I think fire so, and yeah. ice i know yeah. it was yeah. ice. Yeah. i think it's ice i think <laughs> yeah i and i i just like that that finally somebody was using captain marvel as muscle <laughs> in a team yeah. it's like and he was great because he was all kind of like um guys <laughs> it's like i'm not sure i this yeah. is really necessary well, you're, talk, like, you're those, talking about you're talking about these movies well um the movie shazam Oh, was so fun. good! I yeah. thought that was a good movie. Yeah, I can't wait for the new one with Black. I Adam. thought that I yeah. thought that was a good I'm, movie. I, I, there, but I'd say I, I did enjoy it. I, I'm kind of, I was a little grumpy about they, they were following more of the new Fifty Two revamp mm -hmm. of the character, but overall, I, they, I mean. What soul? I mean, the movie just worked. You're right. Everything the first ones were so weird, though. I mean, um, they're just oh well, yeah, but they're so wonderfully weird. <laughs> it's like the I first know, Wonder that's Woman. What's, that's if you did Wonder weird. Woman the way it was drawn, like she's in bondage right. every three minutes. Yeah. Here, all yeah. your all oh, your yeah. girls uh, at the school are all tied up in your underwear, I, and I, your I, box ooh. office receipts would double. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm okay with that. In fact, if yeah. they do the uh, Earth One 
version of Wonder Woman. Yeah, I, that story. Yeah, Grant Morrison again. Yeah, I'm all, I'm, Grant, I'm 100% Grant. behind that story. Um, but I'll, does I'll anyone talk- else have a boner? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here, Tie um, me up with your magic lasso and make me tell the truth. What What I loved in the Shazam movie was that end credit sequence when Savannah's <laughs> yeah. in the cell and he and you hear that ah 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 and, and he, he turns around he looks he goes what the hell and it's mr mind i'm like yes 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 a talking monkey scribbling away on his cave wall and i'm like oh god damn it yes right yeah see that was fun and yeah, I and loved it was fun the, the, those 90s like series the justice league ones those are such fun comics and i can't remember i mean i stopped reading about that time because i you know was almost school and became poor and never really got into comic books again that much. Um, but I, I just don't remember comics being as fun. Like there was a fun era. They just kind of like got way too fucking serious. And and I have yet to see the fun and joy kind of come back in, in comics. Unless I'm just, I, you know, I'm way behind reading. But I just haven't really kind of seen that wholesale like DC leaning in on these titles. Like those Justice League titles that were just tremendous reading like oh my god you know everyone's and there again it, it, it was good writing you know there were the, the mm-hmm. writers were just good um and that made made a whole big difference and and thinking about a little different that's same with james gunn you know james gunn has just taken superheroes and you know filtered them through the modern day and yeah. Yeah. you know and it works really good for this time and and you know like the peace mm-hmm. if you want some fun yeah. stuff from the last like decade or so um uh, go read uh ff uh which was drawn by um mike allred and was written mm-hmm. by uh uh matt fraction oh matt and, fraction. and it's mostly mm-hmm. their kids because the fantastic four has gone off into some other dimension so it's all these oh, yeah. kids that have been it's almost like a hogwarts uh, in the baxter building and it's hilarious because they have clones of like the wizard and the little, this little kid who's a clone who's growing up and he just wants to kill everybody, you know, and they're constantly talking him out of killing everybody. And, you know, it's just, it's great. It's great fun. And it's, again, it's got, uh, you know, because it's all written. So Matt Fraction has some really good stuff. And then uh, Dan Slott is another one. So if you read his Spider-Man, he it goes, he goes, why is, why is Peter Parker whining and poor all the time? He's a genius. So they literally sit him up with his own laboratory and he becomes, you know, like a Tony Stark kind of. You know, and even take over Stark Industries. No, he. Yeah, I don't know about that. That's past what I wrote. And I, I but but Dan Slott just brought the fun back. I think in all of that, it wasn't this kind right. of mopey. You know, it was all yeah. these weird kind of stories and all that kind of stuff. And then, um, you go to Dan Slott writing Silver Surfer with uh, Mike Allred doing the art again. Oh, nice. Oh, super fun. Like, it's like, you're, go, you're like, okay, if this is what the Silver Surfer should have always been, <laughs> you know, because it's just these wild stories and, and he just kind of picks up this girl from Earth and takes her on all these adventures with him. And, uh, you know, it's a typical... Doctor Who. Well, it's a typical... <laughs> it's, it, you can tell it's got Allred influence in it because I think Mike Allred gets that whole, like, um, retro comic feel. You know, his comics, right. all of his whole universe, uh, Mad Men and uh, the Atomics... It's I'm all... not familiar with anything but Mad Men from him. Well, he's there's a whole Personally. yeah. Well, yeah. the Atomics show up in Mad Men, and they do this whole thing. So yeah. I got yeah. them all on Comicsology. You can buy like shit tons of like everything that he did, you know, from those. And it's uh, there some that is probably my my favorite comic series. Yeah, well, he's definitely a uh, a student of uh, Kirby. You know, what I mean, he loves Kirby's art and stuff. He's very stylized. A lot of people don't like his art. I'm like, I love it. All mm-hmm. red's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Oh, not the- he has his own style. That's why I was wondering. Yeah. yeah. I'd like to see it in a different context outside of Madman. Oh yeah. That's all I've seen. Okay. So I, I, I'll go out and look and see. Yeah. I'll Ecstatic. Be, uh, Ecstatic. Oh, that, he did. Yeah. He did that with Peter Milligan, and they took that. That's the only oh, X book that I just like went. Peter Milligan. Yeah. It, well, they, that's the only X book that just went wild. I just went yeah, nuts. You know, those yeah. two. And it was great. It was just you know. Yeah. That's, I was just gonna bring that up. Yeah. Ecstatic was was good stuff. Yeah. If you're going to have, you know, since Disney can literally do anything <laughs> <laughs> yeah. with their uh, Marvel Universe thing on their TV stuff, I'm kind of intrigued by their more their TV stuff as opposed to the movies there. Really, you know, like Moon Knight. The Moonlight out. trailer looked good. I'm, I'm, 
I'm um, cautiously optimistic for that. I'm also cautiously optimistic for She-Hulk. I'd, I'd like to see some. I'm interested. I don't know. I, yeah, it looks like they're going to keep I don't the, have the humor Disney of the, the character. I don't That's going to be like crucial. She-Hulk at all. I think She-Hulk was just a fucking ripoff. Uh, well, oh, yeah, but but, but when they started she making turned it, you kind on, of, we know. So. But it makes sense right. when they got sort of self-referential and they were yes. lambs. Yeah, the the, well, the, the, the yeah. cover which is like holding the volleyball. Fun. Yeah, like like she pretty like the whole. Uh, what's her fuck? She was married to Bruce Willis, stripper Demi Moore. You know, oh, they were yeah. kind of replicating the cover of Demi Moore on you know Vanity Fair. So She-Hulk's got that <laughs> green or that uh, beach ball. I'm like, oh, okay. So that was a fun read. She Hulk was fun because of that. It was it was like the, okay, the burn. We're having fun with it. That was the John yeah, Byrne area. John yeah, Byrne, they, yeah, they they that yeah, was, I just yeah, never was liked never liked it. Never just never. I was it. never big into her too either. No, but me it's, neither. It's but like, I think that I think the show could be kind of fun if they do. It'd be like a Harvey Birdman type thing. I think. Yeah. <laughs> it's when they get it. It's when oh, they, now there's some there's some superhero. There's yeah uh, right there, <laughs> Harvey Birdman. Attorney at law. No. <laughs> well, that that remake that they or that whatever they did for that show was brilliant, and it being like fifteen minutes long. Yeah. Oh, th- absolutely hilarious! Almost every show was just just funny as hell. The Flintstones as the Sopranos was like, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh my god, that was so good. I, I don't think I saw that one. That sounds pretty. Oh, good. It's, good. Oh. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's <laughs> good. They're, they're all good. The... I think they're all good. And then. I that's the, that's that, that was the brilliance of of Adult Swim. Yeah, everything was fifteen minutes, you know. So you yeah. got that taste, and then you're out. And that's the reason it succeeded. I mean, that's modern day, you know. That's postmodernism. In and out, you know. Get you, you get in and you get out because you that's have my so sex much life. reference. So yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. <laughs> exactly. I think that was even referenced, Doctor Head, in an article once that I read about uh, about your sex life. <laughs> yeah, Wait, f- 15 minutes? You got 15 minutes? <laughs> that's right. Well, that's cuddling and crying. Too. <laughs> oh, oh, come oh, on, come oh. on. Okay, okay. Oh, so, that's, okay. So that's we, before crying that's and minutes. after crying. Well, right. good guy, get off the floor. Yeah, that's well, 13 minutes. I get in and they throw me out. <laughs> <laughs> well, you at least you get in. Yeah. <laughs> I do. I try to get in, and then there's the throwing up, uh, yeah. and then the leaving. He's the cheap. As far as I can go. <laughs> and That's right. There's usually a phone call being made, and then I have to go up. <laughs> you want seven inches, baby? I'll have to do it seven times. It's a, wait. <laughs> it's wait. It's... <laughs> I'll give you seven inches, just not all at once. <laughs> And I they get the classic response. Fuck. Oh yes. Are you through yet? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I faked every orgasm. It's like the George Costanza when he decides he wants to eat his sandwich while he's having sex. You remember that episode? Yeah. <laughs> like, he's, Strami. he's like, I've got it. I've got the, I've won. <laughs> I've won life. <laughs> <sighs> He opens up the drawer and there's that big hand, that big roast beef sandwich. Guys, well, if you don't release this episode, it'd be a crime. Unless you know any... so this, this right here, this is the, this is great. What we are is we put that camera up one time. Thank you.